miss him. I need him. I love him. He's my hero. Family and friends in shock over the tragic death of a Grossmont High School senior killed this weekend in a car crash. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Holmes. And I'm Steve Price. A candlelight vigil was held tonight in El Cajon to honor Gaddy Cruz. And among those attending, the 16-year-old's father. News 8's Regina Ahn attended the vigil and shares how family and friends are remembering the team. Yeah, a vigil here in remembrance of Gaudi Cruz, who his father says was his hero, and friends say he was witty and kind to everyone he met. He's my hero, okay? I love him, but already I miss him. So, I believe he's uh, with Jesus right now. But, uh, of course, I'm crying because I miss him. I need him. I love him. He's my hero. Arkan Almaruf is Gandhi's dad. Just a day after the tragic news of losing his only son, he says he's honored to see the turnout of so many people out to remember his son. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's amazing. Believe me. You know, my son, he's, uh, he's, he's super friendly. Okay, so... Arkan says he remembers just talking to him a couple of hours before the crash. The last conversation, he's telling me, Dad, I'm hungry, so just I need one Kornoshaja fries. I tell him, okay. Around 2 a.m. Saturday, El Cajon police say Gotti lost control of his vehicle and struck a pole on Navajo and Fletcher Parkway. In the car at the time was two other students and one passenger. All remain in the hospital with serious injuries. Family and friends here tonight still in disbelief. I cannot stop believing like he's dead. Like I can't, I just can't. Like nobody could believe it. Like no. Best friend Zishan says he spoke with Gotti just a few moments before the crash. Spray painting his car tonight to honor his friend. His name all over the car because he always loved driving. Me and Gotti, me and him always drive. Like always, he he liked driving. So me and him in his videos you can see on Instagram. Me and him always race around. He's a wonderful guy. With flowers, tears, hugs, and prayers, classmates, friends, and family gathered to say their final goodbyes. He was a great person. Whenever I was around him, even though I wasn't very close with him, I knew that he had a good soul. And whenever I was around him, he always knew how to make other people smile, even if he wasn't smiling. He was uh, super friendly. Uh, he was always smiling ready to help. He used to go out of his way to help. He had sacrificial relationship. He wanted to please others, not to, uh, this is maybe a weakness, not to disappoint anybody. His family is grieving tonight, as you can imagine, but they say through faith they will be okay and they will always be proud of their son.